Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this look right here. I'm mostly going to be focusing on the eye makeup portion just because I did put up a video on how I do my base makeup and how I block out my brows and how I go about like carving out my brows. So in today's video all I'm pretty much going to be showing you is how I'm doing my eyes and how you can put together whatever look based off that. So stay tuned and let's get to this video. I'm going to start by doing my eyeshadow. I'm not exactly too sure what look I am going for yet. All I know is I want to use a lot of color today. Um, I might do a similar shape to how I did it in my last video. If you want to see how I did my brows and how I did my base, you can check out these two videos up here. And I pretty much just go through in depth how I actually get my brows down, how I block them out, how I get a smooth base for my eyeshadow, how I put down my base makeup, and now I'm just going to get on with the eye makeup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a small little packing brush, something like this. This is a Morphe M124 and I'm going to pick up a dark smoky purple. And I'm just going to start mapping out the shape of my crease on the inside of my eye. So just going in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it down here and just stamping on the shape of my crease, like so. And then getting a clean blending brush. I now going in with that same brush, I'm gonna pick up a hot pink and with the edge of the brush, I'm just gonna tickle that ever so lightly into the edge of the purple. So now with another little small brush, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to get a dark blue. And I'm going to continue on the line from where that purple was. Which I'm going to go kind of straight and then curve it down a little bit. Going in with a clean blending brush then and buffing out the edges and a fluffy brush and just pop that down over the edge. Going back in with the pink again and just buffing it up and out over the blue. And with a bit of white eyeshadow now, you're going to tap this in up here above the other colours just to help blend everything out. So this is what we should have so far. It, don't worry about it being too clean at the moment, you can clean it up afterwards. Just going back in with that pink again and buffing that up and out. And then picking up a little bit of green, we're just going to continue on this tail and drag that right into the hairline. Just buffing that green right into the blue and tapping it out the blend. So now going in with the white again, we're just going to tap this over everything here, getting a darker green just on the tip of the brush and really intensifying that green line. And going in with a blending brush now and just buffing that out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect the line up here into this wing out of here and then I'll be back to you afterwards to cut the crease. And 
just going back in with the blow. So this is where we should be with the eye for now. So what I'm going to do now is just draw the line under my eye and flick it out. And then I'm going to go in and cut my crease then afterwards. So just going in with my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Drug Lord. It is a white. It's really handy because the little wand on it is really good for cutting the shape of the crease. I'm just going to follow over the line that I already have here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend it out then and work the blue back into it. So I always kind of start somewhere in the middle. And while the product's still wet, I'm just gonna get my pinky finger and just stamp the product into the lid and blend it back into this blue eyeshadow back here. So now we should have something like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the brush that had the blue eyeshadow on it and I'm just gonna work it back and forward over the edge of the white where it meets the blue. Just ever so lightly, like so. Then picking up a little bit of the green eyeshadow on the brush, I'm just gonna tap that over the edge of where the blue meets the white. Then you can go in and re-intensify your blue back here. So just picking up a little bit of Drug Lord on a little flat little lip brush. Get this right into the waterline like so. I'm actually going to go in and use the white cream paint just because it is a bit smoother on the eye and it causes a little bit less ir irritation while putting it on. So now I'm going to go in and set that with a white eyeshadow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take up that green again and just stamp that over the edge here just to make sure that it's nice and soft and blended and then I'm going to go in with my liquid liner and just do my eyeliner on the top that blends into this and I'm going to do the little wing in the bottom and the little inner corner flick as well so now I'm just going in with my liner and then I will be back to you While that's still wet, you want to go in and get a brush with black eyeshadow on it and you want to top out the edge here to make sure that that black liner is blending to the blue. And while you're doing this, you can take the opportunity to set the black so it doesn't transfer. Now I'm going to go in and do my inner corner flick. So that's one eye all done, here we go. So here's the view from the side, here's the view from the front. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna pop the other eye on off camera, pop a lash on and then I'll be back to you and we'll finish this look. So there we have it, this is the look, this is everything finished up. I just popped this wig on straight and styled it on my head, just kind of held it up and gave it a little spray and used the hair dryer as well just to kind of set it in place. Just if I ever need to do like a quick easy style, it's something easy to do, just glue it onto your head first and kind of style it from there because you kind of know what to do with your own hair anyway. So. I just find it can be easier sometimes to do that if you need to get a wig done quick or whatever. I popped on this little bit of an outfit, just something funky to go with all the colours that we have here in the eyes and to clash against the blues and the purples with a bit of red. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video today. As usual, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so you get updated every time that I upload a new video. And if you have any recommendations or there's anything that you want to see, please do let me know 
know by hitting me up in my DMs on Instagram at Robin Hearts. And you can also leave a comment down in the comment section down below. So thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you for all the support and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.